In the blinding heat of the savanna sun, the predator spots its prey. Within three seconds, it's reached 60 miles an hour. As it closes in, it hits maximum speed, 70 miles an hour. The cheetah is the fastest animal on Earth, and its speed has just one purpose, to kill. Speed is sometimes the difference between life and death. Speed is what allows prey to escape their predators, or it allows predators to catch their prey and can mean the difference between survival and extinction. Today, speed gives the cheetah the highest predatory success rate on the savanna. A lone lion catches its prey in one of six hunts. A full 50% of the time a cheetah hunts, it kills. Cheetahs are the perfectly adapted animal for running. Their bodies have evolved literally from the tip of their nose down to their tail to help them run faster. A wide range of factors affect an animal's speed, environment, body type, predation, and more. And every one of those factors has come together in the evolution of the cheetah to create the ultimate sprinting machine. The head, smallest relative size of any cat, its aerodynamic design cuts through wind like a bullet. The collarbone, reduced and free floating, it's like a tiny axle for quick, tight turns. A massive chest holding a huge heart and lungs to pump fuel to the muscles. Legs, long and light, with extended Achilles tendons for superior shock absorption. Claws, non-retractable like a dog's, they dig into the earth with every stride providing traction. And the heavy tail that helps the cheetah steer. It's awfully hard to keep your balance when you're chasing a gazelle who's evolved to turn directions in midair. So cheetahs use their tails literally like the rudder on a boat. And if they turn it, it allows them to make much sharper turns. Speed is really generated from strides. Once every foot has touched the ground once, any running animal to increase their speed needs to increase its stride length or its stride rate. And cheetahs have managed to increase both of those. Scientists studying humans have shown that runners need powerful leg muscles for long strides. These muscles bring the leg down hard, launching the runner into the air for a long leap-like stride. But the cheetah's legs are thin and fragile, so how do they achieve long strides? Most people assume that cheetah's speed is generated from their legs. They must have really powerful legs. It's actually on their spine. About 60% of a cheetah's muscle mass is packed onto its spine. So if you combine that with those elongated legs, you get an animal who has an average of about a 23-foot stride length. And that's incredible. Flexing its spine like a coiled spring, the cheetah's body flies out, airborne for a distance more than five times its length. At a top speed of four strides per second, the cheetah can cover an entire football field in a fraction over three seconds. The cheetah's speed is the secret to its survival, an asset that evolved sometime between three and five million years ago. 